When most people think of national parks, they think of famous examples like Yellowstone and Yosemite in the United States or the Serengeti in Tanzania. These parks are large in scale with an emphasis on wildlife conservation and the preservation of scenic landscapes. Human activity and presence is restricted and regulated and people are mainly visitors. This does not imply that nature in these places has been untouched by humans. In Yosemite, for example, there has been farming in the past and the management of the park is far from passive. The question is not whether untouched nature is good and anthropocentric influence on natural systems is less desirable. The question is whether we would like to protect nature for the sake of nature or for the benefit of ourselves and other species. It is a question of grades of human interference and impact not one of untouched nature. And that is a logical approach, because the reality is that in many countries, nature conservation and human activity can never be separated like in Yosemite or the Serengeti. The Netherlands is probably one of the most extreme cases where nature and human activity are almost inseparable. About half of the country is at or below sea level, and most of the land area has been reclaimed or drained. As a result, the landscape of the Netherlands is mostly the product of human intervention. Therefore, the Dutch landscape can be best described as a cultural artifact. Because of this, formal protection of landscapes and wildlife came late. One of the early attempts to create protected areas came in 1928 with the Natuurschoonwet, freely translated as Nature Scenery Act. This act was mostly about protecting country houses set in park-like settings. Wibren Verstegen, senior lecturer in economic, social and environmental history at the Free University Amsterdam, has researched the Dutch Nature Scenery Act. In a recent article published in the Forest History Society's magazine Forest History Today, he discusses the Dutch Scenery Act in an international perspective. I interviewed Wibren at his house in the Netherlands about the Scenery Act, aristocratic landed estates and how it compares with estates in the southern United States and Canada. Listen to the interview with Wibren Verstegen on episode 73 of the Exploring Environmental History podcast. Download the podcast at www.eh-resources.org Thank you.